Thank you so much. I just went to see Hamilton for the seventh time last week. I'm a little addicted, but what an incredible way to bring history to life and to make history inclusive. And uh, so I'm a real fan, so thank you so much. So I'm so happy to be here in Los Angeles, not only the entertainment capital of the world, but also America's gateway to Asia, as our chairman always tells us. So I'm thrilled to be here. It's a little nostalgic for me. I used to be the deputy trade representative for the US in 2002 and did the negotiations with China trying to get US films into China and Chinese films into the US. And Jack Valenti, I studied under his tutelage and learned a lot about the industry that way. So it brings back all those great memories of that great man and that period of time. Five years ago, I created this idea of the Game Changers because I left my work in government in the United Nations really noticing that Asians were not at the table, not in the room where it happened, to the degree they should be. And so if you look at, as I have done a bit obsessively, the Nobel Prizes or the MacArthur Genius Awards, or any of these kind of indicators of who's making a difference in the world, Asians, even though they represent more than half the world's population, more than half the world's economy and patents, uh, are represented often at less than 10%. And I thought this would be a really important mission of Asia society to identify those people who are from Asia or making a difference in Asia that is game changing that is creating a new pathway that makes the world a better place. And so tonight you'll meet here at our first uh, Game Changers here in Los Angeles, building on the um, incredible entertainment summit that has been happening here. People who have connected the dots in new ways and some who have created the dots, which is my favorite thing, finding pathways that don't even exist yet. All of them have taken risks. And this is something that at Asia Society we do. And our board globally, we were created uh, 64 years ago by John D. Rockefeller III after World War II to prevent World War III. Uh, we work hard at this mission. And I'm really proud to be partnered with many of the people you've met here tonight, but Kevin Rudd, the former Prime Minister of Australia, he and I have done amazing work globally in the front lines of places from Somalia to Pakistan and elsewhere, but he's the only Western head of state who speaks fluent Mandarin, not ever, <laughs> because I learned Herbert Hoover spoke Mandarin, but really unique, and he would terrify the translators because he would insist on doing it without interpreters. But this, under, this commitment to learning is really what we represent. And so we've done pioneering track two dialogues to bring about understanding in places from North Korea, where I've been many times, to Iran, Pakistan and India, to Israel and the Gulf and beyond. Our ambition is not only to help create a better world, but to find new pathways through troubles. And I think our seminal work that Kevin's been leading on the uh, avoidable war, and you heard some of that, on how the US and China can navigate this new era is important to all of us. Um, I announced last week we had our Global Game Changers Award, all women for the first time, amazing group of women changing the world. that we had just raised in the past three years $100 million to take Asia Society's mission and put it on a digital platform that will allow us to connect with a new generation of young people wherever they're located. And if you're in Kazakhstan or Botswana and you want to be part of the discussion about the future of the world, where we're headed, how we solve challenges like North Korea, you'll be able to connect. So we're hoping to connect $100 million people who are bridge builders throughout the world under this new vision. Um, I want to give a shout out because this community of 100 million will, will be really 
uh, individuals who want to connect in their own way on the discussions of our time. And Janet Yang had a vision and came to me and talked to me about connecting a women from Asia, not only in entertainment, but beyond. And this was born at an amazing lunch with some amazing women who are here, Katie Sue, Vivian Long, and Yi Wen Lee, and others. And we are giving birth to something called AWE, Asian Women Empowered. And this will go. <laughs> And what we've realized in our gatherings is the stories of heritage, the stories of connecting, the stories that are held with these women must be told and shared in new ways. And so we urge any of you who are interested, uh, we will be launching that and uh, putting investment behind really making that a reality. So could I have the all women stand up for a moment and Janet? <laughs> I've asked to be officially adopted in, so thank you. Um, I also want to give a special shout out to a special guest that I asked to come here. So Carolyn For Forrest, right here. She's done a new film called Sisters in Arms on an amazing group of, of Kurdish fighters, all women, who have been fighting against extremism in uh, the Syrian and Kurdish areas. And so uh, she's now our first AWE member, Janet. <laughs> so she's joined us tonight from Paris uh, just to be part of this and also to meet fellow, fellow awesome women. Um, I want to thank our board chair, Dick, Dick Drobnik and uh, Celeste for being amazing hosts here tonight and putting so much behind this and also our new uh, director here, Frank Rekatch. <laughs> Frank, where are you? Uh, who joined us from WeWork Shanghai. And um, this is his first big event here. Frank, thank you and have a wonderful evening and I'm really glad to be here with you, thank you.